I just hit record. Uh, hey, everybody, Andrew Marston here once again with another episode of the Community Spotlight interview series where we get to know active members of the square a little bit better. And today we have the privilege of being joined by the one and only Logan Penny. Hey, Logan. Hello, Thank Andrew. You. Thanks for making uh, time. I know you're a busy guy. No, hey, we're all busy, and uh, I really am glad that I was able to find some time to <laughs> to hang out with you and chat some more, uh, you know, motion designer and dad. Right? Yeah, as, right before so, we hit record, we were just we spent like ten minutes just talking about our kids. Um, yeah, which I could probably spend, like. <laughs> spend a long, lot, lot longer. Um, so, just to start right off, where can people find Logan Penny's work on the internet. Um, yeah, so I go by a uh, Hollows Woodsman uh, online on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, my website, which is uh, a work in progress, is also hollowswoodsman.com. And uh, so the reason behind that is uh, my family, uh, my wife and I, we live in uh, in the Hollows, and uh, her parents created a kids and event center uh, 40 years ago. 41 years ago called the the hollows camp so yeah then uh, i spent a good chunk of my time uh, making trails and manicuring the property so i kind of go by the woodsman amongst the kids and the uh, you know adventure master around the paintball and adventure program and axe throwing and so um my father-in-law when i started my instagram i was pretty late to social media and uh, he's like, oh, you're the woodsman, of course. Like, you know, all those woodsmen. I was like, okay, I'll just, so I just rolled with it. Oh, it totally works. Uh, so, yeah. That's, uh, you know, I'm from uh, Calgary, Alberta. Oh. I traveled, traveled all over and lived in quite a few different countries. And now I'm in Ontario uh, at the Hot Lows. So cool. Uh, what other countries have you lived in? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I lived in uh, Italy for three years, uh, and then I've lived in Asia for uh, half a year, and uh, just done tons of traveling, a uh, bunch of time in Australia and Mexico and different places, uh, diving and such. Lots wow. Of and so far, so far, I haven't heard you mention 3D, which is what you're known for on the on the Square and School of Motion as kind of the resident 3D guru. Um, uh, I don't know. Guru is a strong word. Enthusiast. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay. Passionate enthusiast, <laughs> uh, you know, motion, 3D motion nerd, definitely. Yeah, um, yeah I, I took a pretty unconventional approach by starting my motion design career straight into 3D, right? Uh, straight in. And yeah, then I picked up the, the rest of it after. So it was kind of a, you know, a really funny way how I got into it. Uh, I'm not going to name names or, or say any negative on any other uh, courses. Uh, I was in a program and um, it wasn't good. I met some people that, uh, well, shout out to my buddy Onur, and uh, yeah, we I randomly accidentally, we were chatting and I accidentally called him and then and I was like, oh my god, and he's from London and then he was like, Logan, you gotta try School of Motion now. And I was like, oh, okay, what is? And then you know, then I found Basecamp and EJ and uh, checked out his free tutorial on Cineversity where you made a little submarine, uh, which has now been updated to make a little crab. So I encourage everybody, even you, Andrew, especially you, to uh, try out that, that free tutorial series. And then I was like, okay, um, you know, it was the timing was perfect. Basecamp started in like, you know, two days when uh, when I would found out about that. So then... I was, uh, I had just moved to the hollows and, uh, I was a big trip, right. All the way across the country. And so I was ready to do that kind of deep work. And, you know, it's that I'm in the woods, literally I'm in the woods with my computer and no distractions and like, let's go. That sounds amazing. Every, every day, 3d, <laughs> like, you know, in the woods, back at the computer, in the woods, back at the computer. So that's kind of the that's how it started and yeah and here we are now yeah okay well i guess there's there's so many different directions i want to talk about but can you just back up so you you grew up in calgary but not in not in this camp no 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 okay, no, okay. No, i'm yeah, just no, trying to no, piece the all the pieces the, together the, the camp uh the camp is like the last four years okay right? okay last four years 
Can so the, the short yeah. story, the short, yeah. the short history is um, after, you know, I mean, let's, let's flash forward to uh, university. I studied biomedical computing uh, at Queen's University, which is also in Ontario. And I had ambition of being a doctor. And uh, I also had way too much fun. <laughs> so I didn't have a 4.0. Right. I didn't have the grades for medical school. Uh, at the end of my um, biomedical computing, um, I also didn't have the patience to sit and program. I have a lot more patience now <laughs> than I did then. But uh, so, so then I was either go get another degree. Yeah. Uh, and I had the option of doing that. I got, to, I got in to do another degree in chemistry or physics um, as a second bachelor. Or um, I looked into other allied health professions, which is where I found respiratory therapy. And I chose to do that because they're looking at opportunity cost, do another two years, uh, get another degree, and maybe get into medical school, do two years, and start working in the medical field right away. And it was like a 90% success for job after. Um, so it was a no-brainer. Um, I then uh, spent almost 10 years as a respiratory therapist. I worked in the ICU um, uh, for about a year and a half, and and then I was full time working as an anesthesia assistant for about eight years, and wow. then then um, you know I uh, and we'll skip the sad st sob stills, um, but you know due to some life circumstances, it was uh, it was time for me to to part ways with with uh, being in the medical field. And then I moved to the woods. You know? <laughs> the whole thing of like, if you're not happy, don't do what you're doing. Mm. Uh, find a way to get happy. And, 100%. Uh, you know, there's, uh, you can take, we all go through personal um, traumas and loss and uh, horrible things. You can take that as a reason to be upset, or you can take that as a reason to push you forward and, mm. and really. Uh, go all in to passion and uh, all your passion into whatever it is. And, you know, mine happened to be getting back in touch with my creative roots. Um, you know, I was the kind of kid who spent hours doodling and drawing. And then, you know, working in healthcare is a place where <laughs> your creativity is not exactly encouraged. Yeah. Um, there's a reason things work by protocol. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that aside, right, getting out of a union and, and being in a place where, you know, the school motion homework assignments, the briefing is kind of like, you could do this if you want, but you could also like go crazy. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of why, uh, yeah, this going from that type of a, a field, healthcare, to uh, something creative, uh, just felt really freeing, right? And so I definitely want to encourage anyone who thinks like, you know, I'm too old, um, you know, I'm not good enough or, you know, we all have our own situations. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying quit your job and do what you want because <laughs> you got a plan, right? Yeah. It takes time. So it's always about the planning and then the, the execution. And so here we are, right? But you, you start with that dream, like path to MoGraph. I'll tell you, Joey, it works. <laughs> that, that was literally that, that's, that that's free like, course. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's the free course. Like, you know, you, you, you see some bald dude on a YouTube ad and then you skip and then later you're like, wait, who was that? Yeah. And yeah. Then you go back. Um, and yeah, you know, I've done, I've done the gambit, man. I'm, I think I've done seven courses, so Jeez. I want to do them all. Yeah. Right. I love learning. That's really why, um, the other reason for change for me is I was at a point where, um, it was a very, it was a high pressure job. Um, you know, critical care and trauma and such. And uh, I specifically worked a lot in the cardiac surgery. So yeah, lots of lots of intensity, but going to a pace where, you know, you're given orders and, you know, that's like, this is your job. You know, that's it. That's your job. You're on that plane. Like, it was really hard to get there, but now you're there. So whereas motion design, there's like, there's no there. You're never there, <laughs> right? You think you're there, then that's a bad thing, yeah. right? Because, like, you know, it's just, like, my dad would always be like, there's always somebody bigger, there's always somebody stronger, 
You know, so same with motion design. If you get like being comfortable is dangerous, um, especially at the pace of change. Um, you know, Maxon's cranking out new releases every six months. Yeah. Unreal's cranking out new. Like I started learning. Um, for those who don't know, I'm obsessed with 3D Cinema 4D Unreal. Um, huge shout out to Jonathan Winbush. Um, EJ and Winbush are like the two people, and Ariev uh, with those three people sent me down like the rabbit hole, right? Like, and there's no turning back. So. <laughs> From, from favorite place to, like, you know, making a video game, right? Mm. Which we'll get to in just a little bit, too. Which I'm pumped about. Super yeah. Pumped about. I just, before this call, what you showed me, I can't wait to, to get to that section. Um, and so right now, <clears throat> sorry, can you, because you, it seems like you have these two really somewhat different but really interesting sides to your life where you have, the the camp and the woods and axe throwing and then you have <laughs> Unreal Engine and Cinema 4D and like the three D nerd side. How do like what is your how do those work in your like in your life? What roles do they play? Well, I mean the whole the whole goal with the camp was uh, when I when I came on board is their website was uh, the website was from not sure early 2000s so it was outdated um you know i have a background in computer science not that i'm like avidly programming but um i'm pretty pretty fluid with learning um uh, new stuff and technology and so i was like you know what okay i'm gonna dive in i'm gonna build a wordpress website uh, from scratch right we'll start at hello world and and then take it from there so i spent about six months just figuring out how to get uh get up and running with a website uh use the program called elementor oh, yeah. uh, with wordpress and um and then so then it was quickly apparent um a lot was missing content number one um okay i don't know how to do anything inside of illustrator or photoshop i don't uh, we don't have any graphics the the like the media was stuff where it's like um we took a picture of the logo on the van and then now that's <laughs> the thing on the website and <laughs> it's like what's in the, what's yep. a vector what's a vector <laughs> right so then it's like okay um you know the learning started from ground zero and it go it's that spiral right i want i want to make a good website how do you do that well i need nice graphics how do you do that i need to be able to use these programs if this is if you don't want to pay somebody to do it right and we're we're all in house mm -hmm. so then it's like you know my uh, back to my father and he's like okay you're you're the artist all right, artist and woodsman. So you you know that's your 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 portion. Um, so then you creating creating that. Then we need motion, right? Everything you want, we need motion. And you know that friggin' base camp trailer with the dude <laughs> with wavy arms running up the hill. I'm like, he's camping. I'm camping. That could be me. <laughs> like, <laughs> so then that's why I was like immediately 3D. Like I did, I followed some, you know, um, Sunduck film was where I started trying yeah. really good stuff, right? But and now when I watch it, I'm like, this is amazing. But when I was watching it at the time, I'm pausing every five seconds. I'm like zooming in. I can't see what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. What's F9, <laughs> right? Like everything's easy ease. I don't know what that means, but I'm hitting it. <laughs> So it took me three days to make the this horrible, horrible thing where these swans go across, and it was like, register now right, for, <laughs> for camp. So that's when I was like, yep, I'm not doing this alone yeah. kind of deal. So it is really one of those things where um, one thing leads to another, and if you follow your passion, uh, you know, not the paper, you don't know where it will lead you, right? So I would never have said, I'm going to be... I'm going to be TA in school motion doing, doing 3d, um, right. From pivoting from being in the cardiac operating room <laughs> as a respiratory therapist, helping with the anesthesia. That's crazy. So that's the whole point is like, it is true. You know, you can have so many different careers uh, in our age bracket. And, um, I do think that 
entering a little bit later into motion design. And now has never been a better time because there's so much resources and, and getting after it, like school motion, like directing you, like it's without the path, it gets, it gets too cluttered. Right? Yeah. That's the real value. So there's right just there. so much noise. And, and I was talking this with my buddy uh, last night where like, let's say you're learning the piano off of YouTube and you're like, this is good. And then your musician friend comes over and is like, what are you watching? This guy's a hack. And you're like, oh, I had no idea. Yeah. So that's kind of how I felt is it's a, there's so much you don't know what you don't know, um, and especially in 3D, especially with the changes. And honestly, you can be like one tick box inside of a sub menu in another menu. And then like that, that's it. You spent hours and all you need to do is like, oh, it just needs to be set to overlay, not normal. <laughs> and, you're, and you're good right but, uh, yeah yeah you know i'm i'm as big a fanboy um of school of motion as you are because like it's just like ej changed my world with one course mm-hmm. and and that's why i love being a ta is because my mission as best as i can is to make you feel the student um how i did when i took that course right I talked to my original TA um, weekly, uh, Ben Weaver, shout out. You know, he's gotten me jobs. He's helped me out. He's a new dad. We uh, we really connected. And so it's the community. And that's why I'm talking to you because I haven't been able to find this anywhere else. This um, place, School Motion Friends and, and some of my Discord friends, um, you know, are were my lifeline through COVID, right? Mm-hmm. I'm in a tiny mm-hmm. space. Um, but when I'm locked in here, then I feel like I'm free, right? Yeah. My mind feels like it's like, you know, whatever you want, let's make worlds. Yeah. So. And, um, well, it's a, before we get into making worlds, which is the next, the next segment I'm super excited about, but just out of curiosity, how long have you, has it been since you did the path to MoGraph? Like how long did that take? That was uh, uh, in 2018, the pathomograph. So I mean, it's and, not honestly like, yeah. but you, if you go hard and and really go all out, um, then then you don't know where you will end up, hmm. and that's just the whole thing. And I mean, people's every days were a huge inspiration, but it's not for me. Just be he's sure he's posting it every day. But how many of us, like you, I know you are, we're doing it every day, but it's not necessarily everything getting shown every day. Right. As long as you're doing that, it's not about proving to the world, here's my daily work. You know, that's his thing, cool. But um, it's about proving it to yourself, right? Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing. You don't know what people are coming into in these courses. Some students are coming in with two decades of experience. Some of them are coming in from anesthesia. <laughs> Like no, that's it's the only been, point is I want to yeah. make sure that people know you can you can change your entire life in a year. Mm-hmm. You double down and you bet on yourself and you bet on education and you actually put the friggin' time in. Mm-hmm. And it's really what do you want to do? Man, I'm so glad that we have almost the exact same mindset about it. And uh, it's paid off for me and it seems like it's paying off for you. It, it really takes, for me, it's taken the time. It sounds like you put in quite a lot of hours, but it's all added up. Oh, totally. No, it's like this. It's it's a process. There's, yeah. Don't aim for perfection. Enjoy the process. Right? <laughs> um, yeah. And, you know, it's not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the most amazing user, but the difference is um, I want to do whatever I can to help you succeed. Mm. And and that's why I love this because it's like I feel so uh, you know I'm hyped up when I see your work come in yeah you know legitimately and, but now the second like let's get back to that world building and um, let me just double check if you're still are you still sharing your screen you got it yeah okay cool so All this right. is okay so yeah let me give please the, just I'll take give it away intro. yeah um do I all right why don't well um. I'm not going to find the trailer. I have a little trailer. Yeah. But okay, everybody, welcome to Fall Cat. This is a little game I'm developing. It's beautiful. And this is I'm just zooming out to give you kind of a, a an idea of the of the world here. Um. So this is where we're going to start in Fall Cat's home. 
And he's going to take a little journey through the ruins up into the town and the market. And uh, yeah, so the goal of this game, and I'm inside of Unreal Engine, and I've clicked on that. I'm going to hit F to focus in on it so I can zoom in. The goal of Fall Cat is you are going to create the perfect pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> you will need to find a pumpkin, nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, and a type of milk. Uh, my wife is vegan, uh, and I've been off dairy for years. I'm basically about 90% vegan. I'll have meat, like, maybe, you know, a, a couple times a year. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you start here. You're this little character. You're this little cat. Fall cat. Oh. This is this is total alpha mode. Okay, so this is this is not the finished copy. I've got the UI roughed out, um, so you can see that leaf on the left hand side, and the the items are set to you know thirty percent opacity. Yeah. So this is kind of the you know you leave your house. Um, the beauty of Unreal is you see this is a coming this fall. Fall cat is you can make short cinematic trailers inside here. So this is part of a cinematic I made. So wait, so but you were just you were just playing that like live, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can see these these rails and lines are actually cinematic elements to do <sighs> camera moves. So I'm doing moves inside here and recording him, you know, uh, and so one of them is I'm following along this pathway and then we're hitting here, and then and then we're seeing him run towards that. And then this is, you know, we're ending on him running here yep. in the little trailer I have. Um, so it's building worlds in here is so fun. There's a few asset packs on the marketplace that I've grabbed, and it's all kit bashed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I bring these in and do the world building. And so this is my whole idea is like you get to the market. And the vendors are all going to be out of the supplies. And this is where you're going to be getting the missions, right? And um, we're in the market. I'm back playing. I just wanted to show you um, a little bit about being in the marketplace. Um, I've got some cheat codes. Like when I hold shift, he moves much faster. Uh -huh. But um, so I modeled this clove. Yeah, I was going to say, is that a clove? Gigantic. <laughs> you, can see, you can see popping up cloves. Yeah. So um, this is just for testing, like for me, um, that's why it's huge, right? But yeah. so now um, this is all programmed. So when I go up to it, it displays the name. And when I hit E, now you can see in the left, one of the little um, icons oh. went to full opacity. And I'm like, oh, now tall pumpkin. Oh, you've got another icon. Nutmeg, this is a freebie from the Cinema 40 asset browser. It's actually <laughs> a walnut that I brought into Unreal. Oh, we got the walnut. Uh, shout out to um, the Happy Modeling. Um, this is a, a milk jug from from that uh, model pack. Um, I just have flowers as the UI. I'm gonna have like the yeah. actual like you know items when I get a little further. So I made that little quickly cinnamon stick. And are you ready for this? This isn't fully functional. It's a bit broken right now. Oh my but gosh! Then, then the lattes explode <laughs> out of thin air and. <laughs> And you know, yes, these are P P S L pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> How okay. long did this take you? This is working incredible. On this, working on this for for a week or two. What? And, um, You're kidding me? Is, a week? Or this two? is the power. This is so these these are um, scatter objects. Okay, so like all of a sudden you can grab a world. These are all rocks. These are just little rocks. Huh. Okay? So these are supposed to be this size, but then like all of a sudden I scale them up and combine them. And now, you know, I'm building out the area. So I love doodling and sketching. I love video games. So then in my mind, it's like, okay, let's have five. I can change the speed of the camera. Let's fly around much faster here. Okay. So the idea is you start here, you journey in. This is when you discover the fall festivals happening, and you need the pumpkin spice latte. And then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have get each of your quests from the vendor. Um, up here, I'll zoom in on the the tower. I'm working on this where you 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 can walk up here, and that's when you see um, the tower. You'll be able to have a one of those like public 
viewing oh, yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah, yeah. like on the Empire Building, and then yep. it'll be like, oh, that's like it's the Fall Forest Kingdom, right? Um, this is <laughs> this is the last thing I've been working on. Like this is all like undone. I'm not finished here. Oh yeah, I'm um, judging you right so, now, hardcore. Okay, well, <laughs> no, this I'm is judging, amazing. Judging myself. But yeah. so then this is like a graveyard. This is going to be where the cloves are. It'll be closed here initially, and then um, um, it's it's sequential. Like so, when you're this stuff is built around logic, and it's it's not as crazy as you would think. So let me just open up my um, player, my hero class. So when you're inside of Unreal, like you've got your, you know, this is the character that we're playing, and uh, you can then program things for him to do, right? So, for example. When he walked up to things, there's different items he could walk up to. Pumpkins, cloves, nutmeg. Um, you know, one thing that's a beauty of Unreal is repurposing. And I've got, like, this built out for another game for fun, like, all testing and learning. And so it's like, I see a clove, and now I'm going to just get the clove, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to look at the uh, player who is consuming that object, and then I'm going to turn the opacity of my the player's user interface to full. Then I'm going to change this to, yes, I have a clove. And then you saw all the pumpkins exploding out at the end there. So it does a little logic check to see, you know, do you have all the items? If you have all the items, um, blink the UI. These This looks familiar, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, blink the UI. These are timelines. You can add timelines to anything inside of Unreal, so anything's animatable. Um, yeah. Then I'm going to change the opacity of the of that, um, and then I'm going to spawn my lattes. And so I built a <laughs> spawn, function, latte. So spawn latte. Spawn latte. <laughs> <laughs> spawn latte. <laughs> I love coffee. Who doesn't yeah. love coffee? No, it's the best. And the, I mean, the game is beautiful. Uh, I'm just blown away. This is the first time I think I've ever gotten an inside look into what like how unreal works and i just assumed you've been working on this for like six months and like all oh, the programming God. and stuff well, like this is so much fun so just quickly this is like select right select is psr position scale rotate mm -hmm. right um and we have that in, in our transform panel right i have a mesh and it's got you know this stuff's location <laughs> uh rotation it's all familiar stuff yep, right yep, yep. so then you have landscape, right? Okay, I want to sculpt. Hey, I'm on flatten. Hey, there's an eye picker. That looks familiar. I want to go to that height, but I want it to be over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. I just built a knoll, right? Wow. And then I can say, I want a bush on that knoll. Um, I just got to move this down yep. and grab my bush tool. And let's just paint on one bush Whoa. oh I, I had my camera speed set up very fast <laughs> they're slow yeah i'm painting on i'm painting on just a singular bush right there Jeez. Right? okay uh, i think right there so this i i i i start off by using these scatter tools that i built to um, procedurally scatter meshes and then when i feel like i'm ready to work on the area i'll go in and hand paint hand paint the trees in uh -huh. um, and then, you know, hand paint in the landscape and this stuff here, like the pathways, like I started, I just started here and I was like, I want to put this right here. This is in the middle and I want this to be kind of a rundown area and I want to be able to walk around here. And then I just, then I want a castle, right? Um, there's another version of this where it's a castle. Uh-huh. And where's Fall Cat version one? <laughs> so you don't need to save. Saving, no. Hey, guess what? I don't label my layers. What? No. Oh, man. <laughs> well, it's okay, been great talking to you, Logan. Sorry I'm we don't just, have more time. <laughs> I'm just joking. These little goblins I've programmed to run around and eat pumpkins <laughs> or chase you or run away from you. I'm not. I, oh, um, they're not working because uh, I've moved the nav mesh. So there's there's a navigation mesh 
Okay. It's, it's in this box here. It's working over here. Let's let's go to that. This is unbelievable. This is, this is where it's if you get me going in here, it's like Logan, we got we gotta turn off. This is me testing out just one of the goblins. <laughs> so they have a behavior. They they primarily want to chase me. Yeah. Right? That's their logic. Number one, get player. Number two, eat. <laughs> and they eat the pumpkins. Um, so they if they can't find me, they will go for the pumpkin. And they have a timer, like a food timer, where, you know, how hungry do you get? And when it hits a certain hunger level, like, let's say at 100 points, you're hungry. Mm-hmm. And I can just keyframe how fast it gets to 100 points. Wow. So it's all, like, behavior. It's all logic. And to me, this is where cinema... Um, I love C4D and product renders and, and making things look pretty. But I always was like, I want to like be in the render. And that's where uh, Winbush really just like, you know, okay, now I'm, he, he showed me the ropes. And then I just went full on, like, maybe I'll just try and be a game dev for a few months. <laughs> well, I mean, this is, so, this is a quite a successful attempt at game development. I would, I would say you you mentioned the C4D, um, and I, I've seen this question on the square that you've answered a couple times. But would you recommend Unreal Engine after C4D, or does it does it really matter? Could you just jump right so into Unreal? You can jump right in, of course. But for me, the key difference was um, it, its journey, right? And as I kind of described to you. It all starts with like I need a website, and uh, and now we have fall cats. And yeah, look at you now. So like how but how do you get there? So it's not it's there's the two there's two ways. It's like the the reverse engineering, and going backwards, which can seem very daunting. Yeah. Or there's there's the you know follow your passion and see where it leads. I didn't know about world building and game dev. I didn't know about lighting. Right, I didn't know about nodes. These are all things that I learned, you know, from School of Motion. And then when I went into Unreal, it was like, ah, uh, this is a different style. It's the same flavor, right? There's nodes and there's keyframes. Um, but you, so if somebody was like, go animate in Unreal after never being at School of Motion, I'd be like, no, <laughs> uh, I don't think so, right? So it's definitely like base camp and ascent, and then lights, camera, render in succession mm-hmm. allowed me to then be able to make cinematics in Unreal and tell a story because I understood mm. the process and it goes back to it's it's not the tool. And I thought it was when I started. And I was like, I'm going to master AI. I'm going to master PS. I'm going to master AE. There's no mastering anything. Mm-hmm. It's like, are you master at using a skill saw? You master at the drill. Like, right. can, can you use a drill? Yes. Okay. You know, what do you want to make? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a that's, great point. I hope everybody hears that because otherwise, I mean, it's an endless journey, probably no, 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 with yeah, frustration. It's it too much because yeah. it, 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 it's overwhelming. Like you, you need to, to try everything to say, I like that. I don't like that. I like, I don't like modeling. You know, I'm the first to admit it. My joke is um, I'm a content browser modeler. (laughs) Those modeling lessons are hard. EJ is an excellent teacher that doesn't detract from the skill being difficult, Mm. right? It's just, you know, it's practice, but um, it's also like I've seen people that are fantastic modelers, but they hate lighting. Mm. And that's why, you know, you need to try everything to, to discover, like, this is what I really am passionate about. You know, when, what gives you that, um, when you sit down for 10 hours and then it feels like five minutes, you know, you're doing the right thing. Mm. Right. Uh, well well so. said. I've experienced that myself. Um, let's transition. Uh, cause I feel like I could talk to you about fall cat and unreal probably for a long time. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll stop sharing here. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Um, but I'd love to move into the lowlights highlights section and the lowlights. It doesn't have to be, it can be, you know, it doesn't have to be some big tragic event or, you know, something really more, but it could just be maybe sometime you made a mistake and you learned a lesson or um, really just anything that you want to share. And then we'll move to the highlight. But is there a low light that stands out that 
from your career well, so far that you'd like to share? I, I can share them. I can share them more, but I'm happy to. Uh, no and pressure I'm working, for me, man. I'm working towards really fleshing out an, an article to share with everybody uh, about my, my full journey. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult, and it stems with losing my mom, and that's why I was at a, 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 a period of my life that was um, very low and very dark and uh, filled with a lot of pain. And it was when I took base camp, it was like EJ was here being like, buddy, you know, we got this together. And uh, and it was a lifesaver, honestly. Mm, so that's, that's good a little light. Yeah. Thank you but, for sharing, uh, by the way. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's what I mean. Like you just you can take these moments and and go down or like, no, let's use this as a pivotal transition. Mm. So, well, on behalf of everybody in the square and school of motion, I feel like uh, I just want to say thank you for making that decision because now you've gone on to help so many more people, you know? No, it's, it's, that's that's why it's empowering for me to be like that, you know, one session, turn it around for me. And you don't know when you can turn it around for someone else, right? Yeah, so absolutely. Well, let's let's move on to a highlight, though. What's been a highlight of your career so far? Um, you know, being a TA, man. Like, oh that's, my gosh. That's like, okay. Okay. I, like, I can't. I can't. Like when the school of motion um, said, "Hey, Logan, um, you're not the best." We know that, but we like you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was. And my wife actually secretly um, had a cake made that had the logo and that said "School of Motion TA" and. You know, this is where it's going to bring tears to my eyes. Brittany um, was uh, was messaging me about it on the morning when my son was born. What? So it's like there's these. She also messaged me to be a part of the the beta group when uh, when I was um, on my wedding day. So <laughs> it's like he's like she's been a part of these serious life events of mine, just like coincidentally. <laughs> And it's just another thing that makes it so special. It's like, I remember her like reaching out to me. I was like, Brittany, I got to go. Like my wife's water broke. She was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it's really, uh, that was, that was so like highlighting, like, you know, I'm, I can't, I want to be the best coach uh, for all of you that I can be. Right. So. Absolutely. Um, well, one more time, where can people find your work online? Uh, I go by Hollis Woodsman everywhere. Hollowswoodsman.com is a, a very much so work in progress website. Um, come check out the camp, hollowscamp.ca. Um, I did all the drone stuff. It's a beautiful place. So there's a little video there. You can kind of see uh, into the life of a woodsman a little more. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Fall Cat. When, is there a timeline there's for Fall no Cat? There's no timeline. Okay. I want to make sure that um, um, obviously I'll keep posted. I'm doing updates on my YouTube channel. And uh, anyone who's an alumni, obviously, will be like, guys, fall cap beta test, where you at? Yeah, so. I'm, a, I'm, I'm excited for it, for sure. Um, and, I mean, I've kind of hit the end of my outline, but is there anything else you'd like to say to the oh, School of Motion Square just, community? Just, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm so thankful to be a part of this community. Honestly, as I mentioned, like, without this, uh, the last couple of years, even the last, like, you know, four years would have been uh, really hard for me. Hmm. so yeah uh, yeah let's keep keep going these are fun let's get as many as you can i really appreciate you taking the time to have me on and no 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 and, no, no. Uh, yeah no i'm 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 gonna put the pressure on you to come and come to base camp <laughs> yeah no it's on my list so busy, so no no day, it's on my list day. for no sure pressure. and watching unreal engine i'm like two weeks what the heck that looks well, amazing like this like um, even if you're not getting into it, yeah. every month Epic Game releases free assets. So, like, just get an account oh. and then log in every every the first Tuesday of every month. They do this. So, um, whatever day it ends up being, it's not like a set day day. It's just the first Tuesday of the new month. Um, and this month, actually, this week is um, Educational Week in Unreal, and they just gave out another free six assets. So. There's so much content that's free to work with that there's no just dive in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I hear you for sure. Um, well, 
thank you for being part of the community and thank you for making time for this call. Yeah, no, it was a blast. I give you, you know, a high five. I love, love to give you a high five in real life. Uh, um, I'm just pumped up for the day when it's like, you know, COVID restrictions are a thing of the past, right? Yeah. Country to country, conference, whatever. Like, there's no more cancellations. It's all go, 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 right? And yeah. uh, I know you can have a big bash and, and meet some people in real life. I'm jealous mm-hmm. you got to meet Kevin and hang out. And That was a lot of fun. Um, Kevin's an awesome dude. Um, and I was just thinking, like, you got that nice camp there. And, you oh, know, yeah. you could do, like, a Camp MoGraph, but, like... Camp MoGraph Canada. Can- I've been yeah, pitching just- it for a while. <laughs> just saying. Man. I would go for sure. Cool. Uh, All right. Anyways. Well, thank you, Logan. Um, it's been a pleasure. Bye.